Decapitated ponies, murderous circus entertainers, and bizarre revenge. Um, if you don't like clowns, I'd look away now. The clown was created by Iger Goldkind and Robert Bliss and ran in 2000 AD between 1992 and 1994. Ostensibly a story about a muscle-bound clown who goes on a violent rampage to avenge the decapitation of his pony Toby by a bunch of incompetent criminals. By the end, as the fan site touched by the hand of Tharg puts it, vengeance has been wrecked, operas have been disturbed, a little girl named Little Girl has accompanied him to the House of Smiles, and the earth has been invaded, a gumshoe has met his father, and zombies have arisen from the grave. Originally hired to launch 2000 AD's mature comic stablemate Crisis and one of my predecessors, Goldkind stated that the clown was a fond parody of Neil Gaiman's more literary writing style on the wildly popular Vertigo series Sandman. Its script of satirical, flowery, solipsistic, extremely violent slapstick is accompanied by Bliss's luscious, fully painted artwork and not a few funny moments. It may not make a lot of sense, but it does look very pretty. And whatever you make of the clown, it's the kind of unique storytelling that 2000 AD has always excelled at. Now, the clown has never been collected altogether, uh, so you will need 2000 AD progs 774 to 779, 841 and 881 to 888, along with the 1994 2000 AD yearbook. Well, thanks again for all your support on the 2000AD ABC's Earthlit. Make sure you give us a like and a share and, uh, you know, let us know what your favourite 2000AD series are and whether you'd like to see them in a forthcoming episode. Make sure you tune in next week because we have a modern classic. It's John Smith and Edmund Bagwell's Cradle Grave.